The heat was very great while traveling through miles of burning sand. When John Palliser wrote those words in 1862, he wasn't talking about a desert, but he was actually describing a swath of prairie grassland that stretches from southeast Alberta to southwestern Manitoba. He deemed the area, much of which is the traditional territory of the Blackfoot Confederacy, useless for agriculture. Today, the area is known as Palliser's Triangle, and while it's typically dry and windy, it actually makes up the heart of Canada's breadbasket, a region known for its cropland. So why did Palliser think the opposite? First off, when Palliser visited the area in the late 1850s, he would have seen it in the middle of a drought. And the route he followed took him to the Albo Sandhills in Saskatchewan and the Middle Sandhills in Alberta, both known for their unique sandy topography. Now, you can still find dunes in the southern prairies today, but they're relatively sparse and rooted by grasses and sage. Back when Palliser saw them, they were much more active and the dunes would have been more widespread and look a little more like a desert. So what's changed since then? Our sand dunes in the southern prairies formed thousands of years ago due to glacial ice melt, and those active dune fields have been slowly shrinking ever since. However, when Palliser saw the dunes in the mid-19th century, land practices were different than they are now, and disturbances from wildfires and even bison would have kept the dunes more active. Today, most sandhill areas are used as dryland agriculture for grazing cattle, which decreases dune disturbance significantly. But as we've already seen happen in Palliser's Triangle, we know that the dune fields can always change. As our climate warms increasing the risk of drought, it's possible that the area could revert to the desert-like environment Palliser witnessed. Extended drought conditions, perhaps even longer or more severe than we've seen historically, could reduce the vegetation that holds that sand in place and expand margins of active dune areas, which would have an impact on livestock and crops in the area. At this point, dune activity remains fairly low, so it's considered a managed risk. But given the importance of the ecosystem our prairie sandhills provide, it's something climate scientists will have to closely monitor in the future. Christy Kleimanhaga, CBC News, Edmonton.